My MacBook Pro needed a new hard drive. The old one was only 120 gig, and I was running out of space. So I decided to install a new, larger hard drive, and this is how I did it. The first step is to remove the battery and set it aside. The next is to remove the three screws that hold the cover on that protect the memory boards inside the MacBook Pro. Now the four screws at the back can be removed. I use a 1 inch flat blade screwdriver in order to remove the two torque head screws on either side of the memory compartment. Now the two screws inside the battery compartment at the front can be removed. There are four screws on each side of the MacBook Pro and all of them have to be removed. Make sure to put them somewhere safe where you can find them again. There are also two screws on either side of the hinge in the back. Once that's done, Open the computer and lift the lid off gently. There are several retainers at the front that you'll have to wiggle the top before they come loose. And this is what it looks like once you've got the keyboard lid open. This connector does not have to be removed, but just make sure you don't pull on it. To keep the keyboard up, I use a rubber band to wrap around it and the lid. This keeps it from falling. And here is the hard drive we're going to replace. Peel off this yellow tape to expose the wires. These connectors and the flat ribbon wire are all held onto the hard disk with adhesive. Gently pry it up using a screwdriver. In order to get the ribbon cable off of the top, I used a screwdriver and gently pulled it up off the hard drive. The right side of the hard drive is held down with a clamp, and that is held in with two torque headed screws. Here I'm using the 1 8 inch screwdriver again. Using a small screwdriver, I pry the clamp up so it can be removed. And there it is. Again, using a small screwdriver, I use it to lift the drive on the right side and then slide it over. This allows it to be removed from the computer. Gently flip it over and remove the connector from the back of the drive. There are four posts attached to the sides of the drive that have to be removed and put on the new drive. The white ones are on the right side of the drive and these bare ones are on the left. Once they're attached to the new drive, you can now connect it and reseat it into the space on the computer. Those metal knobs have to fit into a hole on the left side. And once the drive is lying flat, 
the retaining bar can be put back in place and screwed in. Firmly push the tape back down so it adheres, and don't forget the yellow tape to keep these wires from getting tangled or caught in anything. Now you can remove the rubber band and lay the lid back down. Be sure to get the front clips in place before trying to get the back to seat properly. Now you can start putting all those screws back in, starting with the two in the back. and then go on to the four on one side and then the four in the back on the bottom and the two torque headed screws on either side of the memory and of course the cover for the memory And don't forget the two screws inside the battery compartment facing the front of the computer. Don't forget the battery.